Hello everybody and welcome back to more Risk of Rain 2 modded for the Secret of the Storm DLC. We're jumping in as Chef this time, one of the other new characters added by the DLC. A pretty interesting character. He's kind of weak. I do have one uh, mod that improves his uh, his main ability so that it automatically returns to you like it does in Risk of Rain 1. Uh, but we're just going to jump in and see how we do with this guy. I kind of like the vanilla skin to be honest. I like his little... Little headband that he's got on there, but yeah, we're just gonna jump in and see how we go. This character is pretty slow movement speed wise from what I've tested so far, so he can be a little bit difficult, but I think for the most part, we shouldn't have too hard a time here. So let's say, uh, let's just kind of see how we go. But his uh, his main ability has some damage on it, it's, it's kind of got a little bit of lacking range, but yeah, our only movement ability is this here where we like charge up and then like dash. And honestly, the amount of time it takes to charge up is just like not even worth using. So we really want to be looking for uh, movement speed abilities as soon as we can. But you can see that on the way that there, we do 30 damage. On the way back, we do 45, which is going to kill most of these, like, basic enemies pretty darn quickly, which is quite nice. I mean, even guys like this. And we can also do some interesting stuff, like we can light an enemy on fire. And then if we kill them after we've lit them on fire and hit them with that, they'll drop a healing, a little healing orb, which is really nice. Basically, as long as we hit them with at least two of our abilities, they drop healing, which is kind of nice. There you go. Uh, ooh, lovely. Uh, and then also we have uh, a little wombo combo we can do. If we use our R ability and then we uh, get in there. Oh, dude, come on now. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. That was kind of rude. Right, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. And then uh, we use our mouse 2 ability once they're like that. Our fire does like a bunch of extra damage. So there's some good stuff you can get out of that. Ooh, hello. Broken Gunner Drone. A companion bought with gold that falls survivor. Why is it 400 to buy a gunner drone? Excuse me? Is this some, is this some sort of... Is this some sort of prank? <laughs> Why is that gunner drone 400? I kind of want to buy it just to see if it's any different. See if it's like a, a modded one or something. But that seems excessive. Yeah, we can just about reach that guy. I will jelly you. Yeah, good thing it's about this guy as well. Bit of piercing. Characters that have piercing off the bat are so goddamn good. I like them. Right, let's uh, dash on over to this lunar pod and see what we got going on in there. We know where our teleporter is, pretty easy to see. Whenever you receive healing um, that applies to your health, 25% of the healing will be converted. For every 100% of your max HP converted gain... for. Um, Gain 10 seconds of 20% base stat increases. Movement speed, health regen, jump power, as well as 20%. That seems pretty good, you know. I'm going to grab that. Basically, um, we lose a little bit of healing, I think. Uh, but we, we gain stats out of it every so often. Which seems kind of decent. Especially for a character that has some inbuilt healing. I like extra stats, i got to tell you. I like extra stats. Chill, guys. Chill. Right. Give me that healing back. There's a lot of things over there for us to grab, as well as a Halcyon Shrine. Speed it up. We got War Banner there. Actually isn't bad. It's got a bit of healing on it. I like that. Um, we don't have any white items to trade right now, though. Then we've got this here, which is pretty good if we can get some... I, su I suppose, actually, we do have Ignite effects built into our character, so... That's well, not terrible. Hmm. Um, using Utility Skill, that's pretty good. We'll see what we get here. Uh, oh, God damn. It's a rough item to get right off the bat. That item's kind of good if you've already got some drones built up, but if you haven't got any, it's kind of meh. We really want as many white items as we can here. Right, let's grab this. Topaz brooch. Very nice, because it's terrible. We've got a uh, goat, goat hoof there. I'm going to keep that inside the uh, machine so I don't end up 3D printing it by accident. 25% uh, chance on getting hit to apply one stack of each presentable debuff to every enemy in a radius. After completing a teleport event, create a null portal. Interesting. Quickly go get that over there as well. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You can see why we need movement speed though. This character would be slow. Okay, that fire does not reach. <laughs> The distance on that fire is not great, but our damage is pretty good though, so I won't complain too much. Hey, there's a goat hoof that I might end up accidentally getting rid of because we don't have a thingy here. I should have left that on the floor. 
Um, on death, cause a highly damaging void implosion and revive yourself um, if an enemy kills you, but a 30% HP. Um, all kinds of healing converted to damage. Ooh, that's kind of crazy. I'm not going to take that, though. That seems a bit risky. I wonder if health regen is also converted to damage. That'd be kind of wild, right? right? Grab that. Hey, we got one of these. I kind of want to keep that, you know. Maybe I'll go, like, whole hog on this ability here. And, uh, not this one. This one here. And grab, like, a bunch of those. Let's go do these Chen Shrines as our last-ditch effort to get some stuff and muddy the Halcyon Shrine. Shouldn't have too hard of a time with the Halcyon Shrine, to be honest. So we've got five stacks of this right now. Good, good. Two for two on that. That's lovely. We don't really have a good jump ability, unfortunately. But getting up here is a little annoying. Yeah. Oh, no. We can... Yeah. <laughs> kind of. We honestly got some good stuff here, but I think I'm going to throw it all away. <laughs> so let's just take a look at this a minute. Let's uh, ping this. So, Ignite's Freeze and Stuns have a 9% chance to also cause one of the other effects for 50% damage. Inflicts uh, an 80% slow instead of freeze. Is that good? So, like, the 9% chance doesn't increase, which is the, the bit that give, this makes me a bit wary here. Oh, come on now. I made that jump, and you know I did. But this, however... Like, seven of those. That's a huge heal on our utility ability, right? We threw away some good stuff for that, but... Like, so... Let's just pop out our ability. 10 seconds. Wait, reduce special skill, skill cooldown with 15%. That's pretty good. Right, let's quickly go and get our uh, goat hoof. And then, um... Is that a fin? Yeah, knockback fin. Oh. Right, let's do the shrine. We've, we've taken a lot of time on this stage here, but... I don't mind. Let's get this done. Yeah, you need to you need to go good sir you're not healing anyone thank you oh dude that is so nice able to heal like a massive chunk of HP also I need to take another look at this because I still don't really get exactly how it's working when receiving healing that applies to your health which we're doing um Regen, barrier, and shield do not count. 25% uh, of this healing will be converted. We're losing 25% healing. Um, it's converted to... You gain 10 seconds of 20% base stat increase. So I'm seeing I've got stacks of this here. Heals to uh, damage charging. I'm not sure when I actually get the 10 seconds of healing, right? Have I got some already? I, I don't know. There's, I can't tell when the buff's active. Okay, well, I think we've basically filled this already, right? Oh, it's you. We don't like you. But I heal. Do you know what? Get missiled. Too big of a nuisance. Get missiled. Right, now give me time to actually pick my items here. What we got going on? Speed, definitely, and speed, definitely. <laughs> there you go. Happy enough with that. Right. Let's get gone. So, yeah, <laughs> every time. 5%. What's 5 times 7? Um, it's something. It's 35. Is it? Yeah? 
Yeah. <gasps> There's armor plate in there, though. That's also really good. I'm gonna grab... Oh, really, I lost speed. I'm gonna tr grab two of those. I was really hoping I wouldn't lose speed there, but... Armor plating's goddamn amazing, so I'll take two of those. You got absolutely steamrolled, Big Chief. Oh, baby! Leave behind a fire trail that damages enemies, increase movement speed, very good. Attacks bad on hit for 20%. That's amazing. Also, this character looks awesome. Oh, we got a, st a sail star as well. God, we got to remember we have a sail star. We got to remember that. Those guys were bleeding, I'm not quite sure why. Okay. See, now I kind of want one of those things that ignites enemies and potentially stuns them for extra damage. I think, I think we've got a decent build here. We've got a little bit of speed. Uh, the Noxious Finn, whatever it's called, Noxious Thorn, is decent, and I think that's why that enemy was bleeding, actually, now that I think about it. So, th does that time 65 mean I'm 65 out of 100% to my 10 second buff? Because if so, that's terrible. <laughs> if so, that's really not worth it, and I'm going to get rid of this item. If I've not even got one 10 second buff yet, that's pretty awful. Although, we'll see, maybe later on we'll get some other healing items that ends up being really good. So, where does the Null Portal take us? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure where the Null Portal takes us. I'm a little scared to find out. Dude, look how awesome this guy looks. I need to take a, take a little screenshot of this dude, don't I? Like, absolutely look at this guy. This flamey little fella. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. With his mustache and everything. He looks like a beast. 3D printer over there. Wait, wait, wait. I have a, I have a double jump as this guy? Why? Ooh, debit card. That could save us a lot of money. Get a mega burned, boy. Oh, how did I miss all of those? Come on now. Oh, I forgot I had Sail Star. Every goddamn time. Every goddamn time I forget I have that sales star. So far, not so bad, though. More movement speed, yes, please. Thank God I got that back quickly. Line them up. Get the double hits going. This this burn damage from the aspect is real nice. Got another chest just there. Rubber duck, okay. Very low amount of armor, but it is it is armor at this, the end of the day. Bandolier, don't really think is going to be super useful. Is that a scrapper? No, it's just just a chest at a weird angle. Ooh. Lead chance, you say. Good amount of items over here. Quickly just doing like cursory glances around the area, see what we've got. I'm kind of glad to see there's no big chests. Because otherwise I'd be really annoyed with my sale star mishaps. But I think I got away with it. Right, let's just quickly do a around the corner check over here. 
All right, that's the debit card. Right, let's 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 start with this chest and work our way back. Technically, I can actually use this here for uh, some extra money and then just heal up straight after. Like that. Easy. Oh, more speed, baby. Okay, our speed's finally reached a point where I'm reasonably happy with it. Eh. Don't think we have a scrapper about. I'm pr I think I'm going to get rid of this Lunar item. I just don't really know what it's doing for us, and I'd rather have that. Yeah, maximum health 10% is very, very nice. Quickly check here. Haha, -ha, I knew there'd be a sneaky chest. Oh, and it's an Urple as well. Thank God we came around here. Molten Coin. I actually would like one of those. Let's quickly be careful here, because there's a lot going on. I'm going to gamble here. and Yeah, I, I only lost one of those. Cool, cool, cool. I actually don't use that ability too much for uh, hitting enemies, but it is pretty good. Yeah, having one Molten Coin is pretty good, because the chance doesn't increase. It's just the damage, so just having one is, is worthwhile. Right. Last few chests over here. Get off whatever that is. Another armor plate, thank you. Another chest here. That's okay. And then go with one of them as well. Is that one more chest and that's a turret? I'll, I'll grab the turret. God damn, we got a train of enemies following us here. I don't know if enemies agree to take more fire damage in general or just more fire damage from our regular ability. I think it's just from our ability. Right. Wow, we annihilated that guy. We're just killing bosses very quickly in general by the looks of it. Being out of danger grants 20% maximum health as barrier. That's kind of good. Or it's doing a little bit of work as well. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm finally at the point where my movement speed isn't an issue anymore, which is real good to see. But yeah, definitely the scrapper. We've got a few things I'd be willing to get rid of. favor of a beautiful 3D printer, but we'll see. It'd be nice to go to the lunar area as well if we can, but I don't see where the, the thing is. Go a little turret. Murder everything. If I ping that enemy, it'll shoot him, right? Yeah, baby. You can't actually direct them, so shoot, shoot that guy. There's our portal again. Oh, we did get a blue portal. Nice. I'll go through it and see what we can see. There's a few lunar items I wouldn't mind here. ATG, uh, not ATG, sorry. Um, Gesture of the Drowned, whatever it's called. That'd be really nice right now. Fire off our mi missile launcher a bit more often. I would not say no to that.
Ooh, we could grab this. It's kind of spicy. Let's give it a go. Yeah, that's pretty good. What on earth? Um, that's that's actually pretty goddamn good. But what are my green items right now? I actually don't really care for any of my green items apart from sail stars. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got a chance of keeping sail star. I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble it. Damn it! I kept the wrong one. But this seems really good. Basically, with this this fucking behemoth of the thing. Um, we can't take damage over 16% of our shield. Uh, like, over the any damage over that will get negated, which is kind of amazing. As long as it recharges, that is. Um, I'll go Scorched Acres, I guess. Yeah, unfortunately we lost Sail Star, which I'm not particularly happy about, but... I think it was worth it for this very, very good legendary uh, item that gives us a lot of potential protection. And it also enables us to to uh, use some of the shield-based items that are pretty good. You see you see there, look, watch. Watch watch this. Let's just do this again. So you see my shield? 90% HP. Nope. Didn't go any lower than my shield. You see how powerful that can be? So now we've got a ton of money to start the stage with. Another lunar area there as well. Why not? Yeah, it helps out a ton. That's pretty good. The end of the chest down here. What's this going to be? Super leech? I don't think I need that. Chance Doll. Ooh, Chance Doll's very good. Chance Doll is very, very good. So you can see how my fire rate's super slow now, but as we hit enemies, our fire rate will pick up with this um, Lunar item. We just got it's one of my favorite Lunar items. Really, really low fire rate, but it picks up up to 300% over like when you're hitting enemies. It, it, it's normally a really good advantage. In fact, I think it's a little bit overpowered. Like, look at look at how insane our fire rate is here. It gets pretty wild. Oop, oop, oop. I did not mean to do that. God's sake. I mean, I found a chest because of it, so not all bad. Let's quickly just clear this area. Is that something I missed there? No, it's just a little thingy casing. I think I can climb this right to get back up top. Yeah, there you go. That worked out. Let's go to this next area, shall we? Big boy chest. Hey, fireband. Like it. That was a good dodge, guys. That was a good dodge. Um, yeah, we got the attack speed. Even though we already have a lot of attack speed, doesn't mean I don't want more. This guy can't do anything to me with the amount of armor platings I've got. Mocker for the extra movement speed and attack speed, thank you. Good, good, good. And... How many more chests do we have? Okay, teleport's just around here. Good. Okay, item. <gasps> um, little terminal shop there thingy, whatever you want to call it. Another glass harvester. Not really a fan of the glass harvesters because they can break, but that's what you want to give me. Right, I think we're good to go now. Still looking for that scrapper. Oh my fucking life. He absolutely wrecked me then. That was close. 
Damn, stop giving me this goddamn item. Energy cell's terrible. You may think, why don't I just use my, like, mod to remove it, like I do with some others, but I do like having some bad items in the pool, but most of the ones that I've removed are ones that are just, like, actively not fun to find. Like, this item is, like, it can be useful in the early game, but typically it's just not great, because... And on some characters that you do, like, spend health as, like, Rex and stuff, it can be kind of good. It's just not great overall. That's a pretty good run as this guy, though, I think. The amount of uh, burn we stack up because of our... Look at that, that's amazing fire rate. The amount of burn we stack up because of our uh, aspect is, is really what's setting us apart right now, I think. We stack burn so insanely fast. We're pretty much ready to go. Not that portal, thank you. Oh, where's that blue portal? God damn it, why is it up there? We got it, though. We got it. Hello, worm. Goodbye, worm. Yeah, I do wish that the lunar areas had a chance to spawn a scrapper. That would be rather nice. There's that bad boy. I could take another stack of this, but that would slow my initial fire rate down to an absolute crawl. Um, <laughs> eh, yeah, it's not worth it. I'll just stick with one. Afterburner here um, adds two charge of your utility skill, reduces school. Oh, that could be really good. Right, what's our green item situation looking like? We got one, two, three, four at the minute. Fireband's the only one I really care about. Um, so let's go with three random of these. Okay, I didn't lose anything great there. And let's go with that. I think having extra charged uh, recharge rate on my utility ability is really, really good. And having like multiple charges of them is going to be super good too because that's our healing right now. I, we get a major amount of healing from our utility. And also, I just like being able to move around fast. I mean, who doesn't, so... Not a bad item to get at all. Good. Good. Ow. Where are you? There you are. Hey, 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 hey. Excuse me. There you go. What we got here? Roller pennies. No, thank you. I love roller pennies, but not on Eclipse. <laughs> on Eclipse, roller pennies is not an item I'm a fan of. Especially not late game. Early game. My god. It can do some it can do some damage. It can do some good stuff. Oh my god. Get out of the way. Okay, we got eggs galore over here. Good, good. Snatching up all the eggs we can. Dude, we managed to find some of the eggs so quickly. Eh. That's not great. Is that glass harvester? No, it's crowbar. Ooh. If we can find a scrapper, I would not mind a stack or two of crowbar. Not willing to risk a random item for it at the minute, but... If we can get the right stuff, that's not a bad idea. The stacker, that's not bad. What's this 3D printer over here? Purple. We know purple to be quite good. Don't 
know what that assassin guy's doing. Where's our last few egg? Oh, I see invisible chest. Oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. Killing enemy grants 1% crit up until the next area. So basically, over the course of an area, we can stack our crit all the way up to 100%. And I just installed a mod that allows our crit to go above 100%. If we get over 100% crit, it starts adding crit damage instead. Which I think is pretty good. Right, last egg should be somewhere around here. That's okay. We've got one, one or two more, I think now. There you go. We got it. Take care of all of those. Yeah, we're going to kill this guy pretty fast. Our movement speed's very, very nice, especially with our back burner. Once our shield recharges as well, he can't take damage over that too, so that's even better. There you go. Pre-legendary incoming. Hey, we got the choice one. That's pretty good. This item's kind of weird. It, it, it basically gives you a choice of a legendary. It says all future items give you a choice. Like, future discoveries come with plus one more choice. But I've never seen that actually occur. So I'm not really sure what that means. Um, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nah, I need, I need a way of uh, reading this correctly. Convert 10% of the damage taken. I'm going to take that, whatever that is. It seems better. More movement speed. Right, I'm just gonna quickly use photo mode here to, to take a scoot around and look for a scrapper. A little bit cheaty, I know, but oh well. Just like down in these areas here that I don't normally go to. Okay, no, we doubt the scrapper. Not that I can see at least. Let's get the portal going. That burn. That girl is on fire. We absolutely smite bosses. Our damage is wild. Hey, Genesis Loop is not bad either. Don't mind that. Don't mind if I diddly do. Let's go open up some chests that we left behind in the meantime. Oh, what the fuck's that? Emergency drone. Not quite sure what an emergency drone is. Cool. I think that's pretty much everything on the stage cleaned up, right? Quick use check up here. Here. Ah, oh, goddammit. There you go. We were going to get some crowbars, but I don't think we're in the position to do that. What what drone is this? Equipment drone. Nah, not really. Although, I could, what I could do here is I could grab that, and then equipment drone, and then there. Just to have, like, this guy. Ooh, see a C? It was worth it. I wouldn't have seen that otherwise. Not bad, not bad. Okay, cool. We out of here. I do love doing stuff like that. Look at this guy. I, I love the way he's got like a little barrier around his mustache as well. Beautiful. I could do void fields, potentially. It's a little bit late in the game to be doing it. So it could be kind of a risk, but I've got faith. I've got faith. What on earth is that? When you're... Let's have a look. When your health bar is greater than or equal to 100% full, uh, most attacks will fire out a sword beam that does 20% of your damage um, when it explodes after having impaled an enemy. Ooh. 
Ooh, damn. Okay, what we got going on with our greens right now? We got one, two, three, four, five. Again, we got five greens that I just don't care about, so let's take that. That seems interesting. The blaster sword seems fun. Right, I'm going to try it. It's a bit of a risk here, but I'm going to try it. Um, where's the actual entrance? I never remember where the hell the entrance is to this. It's somewhere around here. There it is. Cool. There we go. Got a lot of legendaries going on right now. Hello there. So we've got balls with a moustache, which isn't a bad thing, really. Should be okay with that. Fleece hoodie's potentially pretty good. I would say that turret is in a perfect position to help us out here. Also, this, like, blaster sword thing seems good. More movement speed, thank you, yes. Going over there. Dude, honestly, having this uh having this this little drone dude doing our bidding here is uh is really nice. Four hundred for that chest. Yeah, having this little drone dude um doing radars for us is really nice. Dude, this is a bad enemy to get. I could take some serious damage here. Just make sure I could use my utility ability if I get hit. Luckily they're pretty slow. It shouldn't be that hard to kill. Dude, this blaster sword combination we got going on right now with the, the crazy fast attack speed, I like it. I like it a lot. Right, let me just grab this chest. Got another one of them, thank you. Yeah, look, I have been able to know where that is straight away. That one's really close, goddamn. Now we've got brass contraptions, they've got attack speed, and they've got some sort of air damage over time effect on us, which is the one I'm most worried for. Damage over time effects could be pretty bad. It's intoxication, isn't it? Now, I do need to actually, I've, I've set up an AI blacklist, like on certain modded items for Mithrix. I've not set up an AI blacklist for, um, for actual enemies in the uh, in this area. I really should do that, because there's certain ones you just really don't want them getting their hands on. Um, up War Stealth Kit, I guess. And then where are we going? All the way up there. Wait, has Old War Stealth Kit changed? Because that, that did not activate like, straight away there, right? Chance on taking damage. Oh, dude, yeah, that's just, that's awesome. It's no longer, a, like, if you get on low health, it's just a chance on damage now. That's way better. Is that a scrap? That's a scrapper over there. Okay, after we've done this area, we've got the opportunity to scrap. The only thing is, I don't want to scrap too much stuff, because I've, do I've done it, had it before where I end up going to the last area and having loads of stuff left. So I'll, uh, I'll be a little more reserved. Also, is this is it just me or is this charging really fast? That's why normally it takes ages. They got ignition tank, but nowhere to set me on fire, so we're kind of chilling right now. Go into one of them, thank you. I didn't actually look at where the next area was. My bad, oh, it's here. <laughs> it's literally next to me. And then the last enemy... Oh, we didn't get any more enemies, but now they have... Uh, let's have a little look-see here. Um, they have... 3% chance... Yeah, so stuff like that is like... I don't think they can freeze us right. So, like... That's the sort of stuff that we need to disable on them. I might just copy my Mithrix um, ban list and put it on the enemies. A bunch of items that are either too useless for them to actually make any use out of... Or would be really overpowered if they actually end up spawning with, so... Uh, like I said, same with Mithrix. Anything that's like bleed or damage over time or fire can be really deadly, so... I got rid of some of those. Get 
get our red item here. Um, five percent crit chance, crits reduce skill cooldown. Nah, we definitely want that. Thank you. Right, are we are we golden now? I think we're good to go. Right, let's quickly buy up the rest of the stuff here. The shell's pretty good. And then, yeah, we'll uh, take a look at that scrapper and try and utilize that a little bit. Right. Scrapper to scrapper. Didn't find that area too hard at all, actually. We were just fine. Right. Okay, so let's go through. So that's going to be useless for us later. Nail bombs are not very useful. Um... That's not very good. That's not very good. That's not very good. That's not very good. Uh, da, 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 da. Green items. I actually think we keep pretty much everything. That We can get rid of that. And do I need... I don't need the bison steaks either. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We got 10 scrap out of that. That's decent. Are we left a chest? No. I'm coming, chest. I see you. <sighs> Ten scraps to work with is fine. Ten items that I don't think we're contributing all that much. Whoa, where the hell have we spawned up here? Oh, that's a kind of a cool spawn location. Although, not as big of a fan of uh, spawning right next to this guy, but we should be able to absolutely destroy him. Indeed, we did. Ooh, roast buckler. Do not mind that. Oh, shit. Nemesis and forces here, baby. I might die to him. He is, even with the amount of power I have right now, he is a rootin' tootin' scary boy. I don't know where he is at the minute, though. He's actually almost dead. I, don't, I, I honestly don't know how. I say almost dead. He's 25% of his HP is gone, but considering I didn't do anything, that's pretty good. Look at that. Just a hundred stacks of bleed, basically. Uh, no, not a bleed, of fire. Pretty much instantly. Mm -hmm. There's a scrapper there. That's a ch oh, that's a 3D printer. No, we don't care for that. Ooh, that's good. I like that air hop and the jump height boost. Another one of those, thank you. Yes, please. I like the jump height. We know where our teleporter is. So another 3D printer over there. Squid polyp. Not the best for us, unfortunately. Ah, no. Don't let me fall. I just want this chest. Well, the penny's not the greatest. What on earth is this? Give it an item. I'm sure I get everything scanned all the time. It's great. I haven't seen that item in a while. I don't know where this nemesis dude is, by the way. Was that him over there that I just saw? I saw an enemy moving over there, but I don't know that was him. I guess I'd make my way all the way down then, shall I? Another Halcyon Shrine right there. Oh, we don't have enough for the big chest. We're nowhere near it, actually. Give me some things to kill, baby. Give me some things to kill. He's actually chilling in the lava. As nature intended. Ooh. Oopsie. When receiving 20% uh, or more of your max health as damage, any damage over the threshold is reduced by 50%. Gain 50% damage. Ooh. So that plus the, uh, the, the shield thing is going to be really good. <sighs> Bottle cap... Unfortunately, not great for us. 
I could take a few stacks of it, I guess, but... Right, we know where our teleporter is. I, I honestly don't know where this nemesis guy is. Is that him there? That is him there, yeah. Well, he's having a hard time even hitting me at the moment, so... We got him. And we got... Let's have a look-see. Tap interact to perform an omnidirectional dash. Can dash twice until hitting the ground, gain 20% movement speed. Right. Okay, that's kind of interesting. We can, like, dash our way through the air. It's kind of decent. bosses be dead. Take care of all of this. And I think we're about ready to fight the boss. This has been an insane build. I honestly might have to disable this, uh, this fire rate item. It's so insanely powerful on most survivors. It, it might, it might be something that we have to disable because yeah, it's, it's just, it's just too good. Like it's so easy to build the fire rate. I really think for it to be balanced, it, the the speed at which you build up to maximum fire rate has to be, like, at least 50% slower. Because you build up to maximum speed and you can keep it really easily. It should, Yeah, it should also probably drain quicker between firing. Like, if you're not actively hitting an enemy, it should be instantly draining quite, like, quite low. At the minute, it's very, very strong. Right, let's quickly just... Oh my lord! I don't know what happened there, but I got a big old lag spike. That's actually pretty good. All healings increased by 2%. For every damage item. I feel like we probably have quite a few of those. We got up to 135 crit chance there. Ooh, look at all the knives. Uh, each of our missiles there fired a knife. No, thank you, dude. My, my the recharge on my um, on my dash ability is like so perfect. I'm able to like use it again basically straight after. That's what I'm looking for over there. Shrink ray, we don't care for too much. Something's shooting at me, and I can't quite tell what. Oh, is it you from the other side of the wall? I reckon it is. Just leave him to burn to death now. Good. Max HP, nice. Right. And then for this one, rusted key. Wow. My god, that's exactly what I was looking for. God damn it. Upgrades utility skill greatly increasing mobility. That'd be kind of nice. Um, what on earth is that one? Hold up. It's not scanning it for me. Oh, that's a fucking shrine. That's why. What's this doing here? 
Unfortunately, yet again, I see. I seem to be getting really unlucky with my scrapping here. Like I always, when I when I see like a. Tr also, I never understand this trade. Trade a white item, uh, a red item for white item. You just get like five or six stacks of it or something. But yeah, I always seem to get really unlucky with this area in terms of like I've got like ten scrap and nothing to spend it on. Try to keep jumping to get out of the way of the shock waves from this thing. And away from the fire that these guys are laying down. Which is equally as bad. The knives are hitting him. Dead it. War banner. Right, are we are we done? We are done. I could do more, but nah. We gained eighteen percent crit chance though. That's something. Excuse me. Zoomy. Hey, excuse me. No. Go. There you go. That took ages. Right, this guy shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Hit him for 24 stacks of fire before the fight even started. Yeah, you see how fast we're up to maximum stacks on our attack speed? It's wild. I'm gonna have to put a ban on this item. It's just too good. I'll reassess what I've got banned and what I haven't, and we'll uh we'll tweak it. I tried to... Oh, my God. I think it's something to do with my scanner drone. The lag. Every now and again, I get a massive lag spike. And I think it's something to do with my scanner drone. We're constantly keeping him at, like, 60-ish stacks of burn. 50-60. I never understand this attack. It's so easy to avoid. To be fair, jumping is just really overpowered in this fight. <laughs> just like jumping out the way of stuff is like really strong. Just hit him with a bunch of blades, then move to the next target because they'll probably bleed to death. That's a little bit of a tricky attack, but we got past it. Yeah, having this like these jetpacks that give us this jump boost to be able to um, stay in the air for longer is really, really nice. Almost halfway. Oh my god, that hit me really hard, but my shield saved me, I think. Honestly, I, I don't think it's very easy for us to die right now anyways, because this thing that stops us taking more than our 80% shield. You see how fast I just regen my shield then? I took damage and instantly regen. Okay, this is our only time where we can easily die, so... Luckily, we've got a missile launcher here, so just keep using that. I think he can... Can he take our gesture of the drowned? I don't think he can take lunar items, actually, thinking about it. Oh, no, he can. He can. Okay, we've got Gesture of the Drown back there. Oh, dude, we, we annihilated him very, very quickly here. Yeah, we, we, we annihilated him. Wow. <laughs> okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. That last phase could be horrible if he fires the right abilities or if you don't move. But honestly, as long as you keep circling him, that last ability really doesn't seem that bad at all. Oh my god, yeah, it's something to do with the scan, my god. The lag is bad. Hello. 
I'm just killing you because I want to. I don't actually have to. I'm so glad I got Afterburner, by the way, for being able to use my uh, movement ability more often. It's made this guy way more playable. I'm just zooming around constantly. I like it. Right, now we just got to wait for this to do its thing. Any callers? That was just you, hello. Get sorted. And get sorted. We just build up debuffs so quickly. Probably should have taken Deathmark early, to be honest. It would have been pretty good. Sixty-nine percent, lovely. He trapped me. He got me stuck. He trapped me as well, but we're basically done now. Cool. Get inside, and off we go. Yet another win. We are doing well. We are doing well. We've got some good stuff going on. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Yet another win on Eclipse Mode. Moving on up in the world. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.